Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here. And if you want to learn how to test your cameras for latency and adjust for that, then watch this video. One of the common questions I get is how to adjust for latency because sometimes the audio comes in separately from the video. Uh, for example, right now I have a PTZ camera hooked up via HDMI coming into my ATEM and then I also have this microphone coming in separately. So just to give you a quick look at how that is set up, I'll just zoom out here and I have everything on this <clears throat> ATEM rack here. So excuse the mess, I've got this all set up so that we can test and show how the latency works. Now I've got multiple cameras here. I've got two Sony cameras. You know what, let me switch over to, uh, let me switch over to my remote camera here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my iPhone. All right, so I'm gonna test the latency between three different things. I've got a HDMI out coming from this Sony PXWZ90. I've got another one there with a Teradex Spark 4K. I also wanna test the latency for that. But I also wanna check if there's latency on NDI. So I've got a bird dog system here. It's the 4K Spark, I believe. And then I also have a ProConvert NDI to HDMI and I'm using that because I've got a Canon camera that has NDI. So if we take a look at this, on the back here, we've got the LAN port. This is the Canon CRN500, I believe. And I've also got HDMI out. And then that's all coming in here as multiple outputs. I'll have that recorded separately on this uh, Atomos. So I'll just put down a full screen. And here's the receiver for the Spark. Actually, let me get that turned on. And guys, this is gonna be kind of raw. I'm not gonna really do a lot of editing here because I wanna, I wanna show you the process of how I'm doing these tests. All right, so we got this and it is searching for frequency. And essentially, this is going over a five gigahertz network and connecting to this. Um, I'll have a separate review for this, but I really like this system. All right, now we can see it's sending video and it's receiving video. And you can see the spark here is connected. All right, um, I'll, switch I'll switch this to a latency test later on so you can see the differences in speed and we'll show how we can correct for that multiple ways. I also have all that coming into an ATEM Extreme ISO here. And that's what's showing the multicam. The, the camera that I'm using is Filmic Pro. Let me actually clean the interface here. So I'm gonna settings here and go to device. And let's do tap to hide interface and hide the circle and square. There we go, now we've got a clean interface. We've got a bird dog here. This is the receiver, and that is getting the HDMI out from here. So again, this is going into a splitter, and this is splitting it, one going into the bird dog, since I wanna test the same camera with NDI, and then also this one is going to HDMI going directly into the back here. This is from the, uh, this is from the Canon, and I've got a bunch of networking stuff back here. This is not This is all just a kind of a lab setup, so excuse the <laughs> rat's nest here. I can make this all pretty, but I really wanna get this content out to you. For the microphone, I'm us using a wireless uh, Sony microphone, the URX P40. I'll have links in the description below. And uh, I, I checked for a clear channel, and that's coming in from my lav on my neck or right on my chest here. I'm using Mix Effect Pro to kind of do some live switching here. Um, and then Ecamm Live is recording all of this and I also have that being recorded. I have the multi-view being recorded on an Atomos Ninja 5. 
and then this is controlling the PTZ camera. All right, so let's get to the latency test. Switch back over to the Canon camera. All right, put this down for a second. Switch to the Apple TV, and then uh, that's still connected to the camera. But on the Apple TV, there's an app called Sienna Monitor, and this is an NDI monitor. So if I click on that to do the source, I've got the Bird Dog Cam 1, and I've got this camera, which is my Canon. But since that's NDI HX, it doesn't work. So let's just go to the Bird Dog camera. All right, so the first thing I want to do is do a latency test. So let's go ahead and get that loaded. And this is the Apple TV. So let's switch over to uh, the Cameron camera here. Let's do this. Let's go to three. All right, so I'm loading a latency test. I'll put that in the description below. And I'm gonna be filming the, the TV with the multiple cameras. And the first one I'm gonna test is this Canon camera via HDMI. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna switch to the view to the TV. And let's take this off of mute and turn this up. All right, so what we're doing is I'm recording this onto a separate file. So let's go and click on record. And this is the Canon camera via HDMI with the audio coming into the microphone input of the A10. I'll go ahead and stop it. Okay. I'll stop this. And then what I'll do is I'll switch this to the desktop here. Since I have the multicam footage being recorded separately and the audio coming in directly via the Atmos Ninja, I'll do a um, post-production of the comparison of the latency test on that footage. Record this for a bit. All right, here's the setup. In one camera, we have it split between the HDMI and the Spark. That was the camera on the right. On the left, we have that coming via Bird Dog Flex, and the Apple TV is also capturing the NDI full. And then we have a Canon HDMI. It's not connected. I'll connect that later. But let's just take a look here and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and play this. So if we go frame by frame, okay, you can see the HDMI with the Sony and the Spark are pretty much hitting it within one frame. And then the other Sony that's connected to the Bird Dog Flex, it's coming in about, let's say, one, we'll, we'll count the, the hit on the Sony on the top left here is one. And then this is gonna be the second frame. Okay, so we go back, here's one. And we'll count how many frames the delay is between the bird dog flex. Two, wait, sorry. One, two, two frames. And then the Apple TV so that's one, one, two, three, four. The Apple TV is four. Yeah, the Canon looks like it is, let's go back here to one. Gosh, that spark is fast. It's like, it's already showing up within half a frame. And then the Canon HDMI is coming in about um, one, two, two frames afterwards pretty good. We'll see what that Canon NDI looks like later on. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful on how to adjust for latency on multiple cameras using the uh, Final Cut Pro or your editing editor of choice, and then also using the ATEM to adjust for that latency. Uh, if you have any other questions, please post them in the comments below. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, hit that like button on the way out and thanks for watching.